Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be giving a devotional. I'm going to be reading out of the Word of God. And I want to talk about how we can overcome the fears that we deal with in life. Because the enemy is going to barrage us constantly with his spiritual arrows. And what we need to do, the scriptures say in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, it says, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And we can quench all the fiery darts of the wicked when we walk in faith. But I want to give you a couple of points on how we can overcome fear and worry and anxiety, and we can live our best life with our Lord Jesus Christ. So without further ado, I'm going to be jumping right into the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1. And I believe that God has a word for you today. But before I jump into the Bible and, and give this devotional, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to smash that subscribe button below. And if you could also like this video as well, I would really appreciate it because it would bring more traffic to this channel. So anyway, I'm going to be jumping right into the Word of God. And what does it say? A very familiar passage of Scripture in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. What does it say? For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind very powerful scripture there. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. That doesn't come from the Lord. So when you are living in fear, feeling fear, and fear is coming your way, and you feel trepidation, and you feel all kinds of worry, you know what? That comes from the enemy. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. So fear is of the devil. You know, our flesh can give in to fear, and we can fall prey to fear, and, and then we become culpable because of our capitulation to the fear. But what we need to do, beloved, is this. We need to allow the Lord to help alleviate and eradicate all of our fears, and he can do that. So the Bible says, but God hath not given us the spirit of fear. So we know the spirit of fear, that's a demonic spirit. Fear comes from the devil, and he will attack you in specific ways. And he makes you feel stressed out so much so that you lose your peace, you lose your joy, you can even lose your health, your sleep. Stress is not a good thing. We're not blessed when we're too stressed. But God says we are too blessed to be stressed, and he has not given us a spirit of fear. It's fear, we know where it comes from. It comes from the pit of hell, and it's a spirit. So you can rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Anytime you feel that fear uh, overcoming you and, and, and permeating your mind and your body, you feel this fear overtaking you, what you need to do is say, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit of fear to be loosed. I rebuke you and send you into the dry places. Send the devil away in Jesus' name. Because it says, in my name, you shall cast out devils. Bible says we have power in the name of Jesus Christ. So what does it say? For God has not, for God has not given us the spirit of fear. But he's given you three things he wants to talk about, which is the antithesis of fear. Power, love, and a sound mind. So let me break it down in greater specificity. The first thing he says, he's not giving you fear. He doesn't want God's children, you and me, to walk in fear. He does not want that to happen. It's not something that is meant for a child of God to do, is walk in fear. We're supposed to walk in faith. We're supposed to walk in peace. We're supposed to walk in joy. So he says, God has not given us a spirit of fear. So how do we overcome it? The first thing it says, he gives you power. So we need God's power to overcome fear. That's the first thing. It says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power. So, but is a comparison. It's, a, it's changing from one thing to the next. So, it's saying, it's a comparison saying fear is here, but power is over here on this side. And that's how you overcome your fear. Three things, power, love, and a sound mind. So, what's the power source? It's Jesus Christ. How do you overcome your fear? Get in the presence of God. Worship God. Put praise and worship music on. Go to church in a powerful worship setting. Get filled with the presence of the Holy Ghost. 
if you speak in tongues and you have that spiritual language and you have that gift, then start speaking in, in tongues and it'll cast out that fear because perfect love casts out fear, the Holy Spirit casts out fear. So you need to be surrounded by his presence, his power. If you want his power, ask him for it. It says, God has spoken once, twice I have heard this, that power belongeth unto God. It's in the book of Psalm 62. Do you know power belongeth unto God? And what we need to do is start asking him for his power. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Lord, give me your power, because I don't want to live in fear. The Holy Spirit will push fear out. It will push it out, because fear is crippling, and it is debilitating, and it can hinder your walk with God. But when you start getting filled with God's power, you begin to feel more peace. You begin to feel more relief. You begin to feel more assurance. And you begin to start walking that Christian walk. And, and you're getting God's perfect peace. What's the scripture say? Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3. He keeps you in perfect peace when your mind is on him, getting his power, getting his spirit. So... God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power. So we need his power. So get filled with the Holy Spirit. Get around God's power any way possible. Praise him. He inhabits your praise. The more you praise, the less you'll fear. And then the second thing it says is he gives you power and of love. And, and we need to start walking in God's love. Now, the more of a relationship and the more time you spend with Jesus, the more you're going to get filled with his love. But you also need to take that love and transfer it to other in individuals. You know, we need to reciprocate that love to others when you receive it. You know what? It says freely you receive, freely give. So when you are getting love from the Holy Spirit, because love comes from God. It says, he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Love comes from him. Love comes from above. So what you need to do is start loving God, getting filled with his love, getting filled with his power, and then loving others. And then your fear will dissipate so quickly. You will feel amazing. You will feel, you know, restored, you know. And I just want to tell you, there's no amb ambiguity at all. It's like once you start walking in God's love, you start getting filled with love and start loving people. Bitterness brings fear. Hatred brings fear. Anger brings fear. Holding grudges brings fear because now you're angry and then all this fear. The devil has a open floodgate to get in. So just keep forgiving, keep loving, keep praising, keep worshiping. And remember, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but if power is one, love is two, which I just talked about these two. And then the third thing he says, and of a sound mind, that's three. So you need to walk in power, love, and a sound mind. And how do you get a sound mind? That's the mind of Christ. We need to get rid of the stinking thinking. You know, the devil's going to barrage your mind with all kinds of negative thoughts. Things are going to be so egregious that are going to enter your mind. Just terrible things that he likes to put in your mind. Negative things. Doom and gloom. You know, we're fearing and worrying about things that typically never happen. The majority of things that you worry about usually never come to pass most of the time. But the devil wants to get your mind thinking, racing fearing the negative, fearing these things. So God says he gives you a sound mind. How do you overcome fear? The first thing he says, get filled with his power. Get filled with his love and walk in love. And then third, have a sound mind. How do you get it? Well, it says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do you renew it? Through the word of God. How do you renew it? By rebuking negative thoughts when they come in, getting rid of the stinking thinking, like I said. How do you renew your mind? You renew it by keeping your mind on good things. Like Philippians 4.8, you get rid of the, the negative and you bring in the positive. Start thinking positive about your situation. Start thinking positive about the things that are going on. Start thinking positive about your God. Because Philippians 4, 8 says this, What's over things are true? What's over things are honest? What's over things are just? What's over things are pure? What's over things are lovely? What's over things are of a good report? If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, Think on these things. You get a sound mind that way. And when the enemy hits your mind, you say, no, devil. I rebuke you. I cast you out. I send you out. You're a liar. Recognize those thoughts when they hit your mind. Don't just 
think positively, which is great. And I want you to do that. I encourage you to do that, but also be alert, be sober. When Be alert to those thoughts. When they're not lining up with scripture, say, no devil, I rebuke you. I rebuke that negativity. I'm going to have a sound mind. I'm going to focus on God, his word, and positive things. If you can let the Lord give you that power. Let the Lord give you that love. Let the Lord help you to have a sound mind. If you have those three things, you'll never walk and live in fear. You'll live in faith. And when you live in faith, you will receive God's very best. If this devotion encouraged you, I encourage you to put a comment below. Again, if you could subscribe to this channel, I would appreciate it. And I pray that God will bless you. And uh, I'll have another video up for you shortly. God bless.